everyone i hope all of you are doing good and this video is exclusively for all my dear students of class 10th so now is the turn for class 10th maths board exam so are you all ready yes we are so today i'm going to share with you a super strategy to complete the revision of entire class 10th maths in just 4 days Now for those students who have Sanskrit as one of their subjects so they will start preparing for their maths exam from 7th so they will get total 4 days to prepare for maths for those who do not have Sanskrit as a subject they are getting few extra days for maths preparation Now the strategy that I am going to share today is applicable for all of you. Now those who have few extra days, they can spend those extra days on solving some sample papers or previous year's question papers for better practice. So we assume that we start our preparation immediately on the day of the previous exam as in once we come back from our previous exam we start preparing for our maths exam so basically it's not 4 days but we have 4 and a half day for math preparation on day 0 since we have just come back after giving an exam so we are a little stressed out Uh, but at the same time we do not want to waste this entire evening so we are going to cover something which is very important from exam perspective but at the same time we are not going to cover a lot of lessons on this evening right so what we are going to do is we are just going to cover trigonometry this evening that is on day 0 we will just cover trigonometry in trigonometry we have two lessons one is introduction to trigonometry the other one is applications of trigonometry now if you look at these two lessons you i mean taking together these two lessons you may get two to three questions from the entire trigonometry where introduction to trigonometry is more formula based so you need to be very clear with the formula so that you can apply them while solving questions whereas applications of trigonometry is more about understanding the world problems and drawing the right diagram that's very important because if you are able to draw the right diagram almost half the battle is won so you will be able to solve the questions very easily तो अब हम देखते हैं कि डे जीरो के ये ट्रिग्नोमेट्री के जो दो चैप्टर्स हैं इनमें इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स कौन से हैं सो इफ वे टॉक अबाउट इंट्रोडक्शन टू ट्रिग्नोमेट्री नाउ दिस इज अ मोर फॉर्मूला बेस्ड लेसन सो इफ यू आर क्लियर विथ ऑल द फॉर्मूला आई थिंक इट्स मोर अबाउट यूजिंग द राइट फॉर्मूला एंड सॉल्विंग दैम that's all you need to do so here some of the important topics are trigonometric identities where you could be asked to prove an identity where you have to prove that left hand side is equal to right hand side and trigonometric ratios now that's important because there are a lot of different concepts you should know uh, that uh, you know what are the relationships between sin theta cos theta tan theta cos theta tan theta cot theta and so on so all the trigonometric ratios should be very clear to you a key factor in this lesson is that you must revise the formula properly because if you are not confident on the formula part then anyways you will not be able to solve it correctly so that's introduction to trigonometry the next is applications of trigonometry so here basically whatever we learn in this lesson we apply them to problems so you generally get word problems from this lesson for example questions related to finding angle subtended by an object width of a river height of a building tower or hill lighthouse problems very popular ones in exams speed or distance between aeroplanes or ship so these kind of problems are often asked the most important trick to handle the question coming from this lesson is that understand the problem and draw the diagram correctly if you have drawn the diagram correctly so half the battle is won so here drawing diagram is very important right so so that's about trigonometry now out of these two lessons i would say that applications of trigonometry is more important so because you generally get uh, the five markers like the lengthy questions generally come from the applications of trigonometry part having said that in certain years we have noticed that even you get a three marker or a four marker from introduction to trigonometry but 
uh, like based on the analysis of previous years question papers we feel that applications of trigonometry se zyada marks ke questions puche jate hain as compared to introduction to trigonometry but then you will not be able to solve the questions of applications of trigonometry if you are not very clear with introduction to trigonometry so trigonometry is a very important lesson in fact i would also advise you that we have created few video series on five most important questions on trigonometry so please do watch them so we have arrived to day 1 are you tensed nervous not really because we still have three more days to prepare to aaram se ho jayega koi jaldi nahi hai exactly aaram se ho jayega pura 10th ka maths so on day 1 we are going to cover four lessons again circles areas related to circles surface areas and volumes and constructions so if you look at these lessons you would see that the first three lessons are more important lessons from where you get more questions and the last lesson that is construction is a low priority lesson and we have purposely organized them in this way taki ek hi din mein hum sare important chapters na kare kyunki hota ye hai ki jab aap subah se padhne baithte hain raat hote hote aap kafi exhausted ho jate hain right to us samay agar hum koi aisa chapter padhe jo exam perspective se thoda kam important hai jisse thode kam questions aa sakte hain to thoda zyada better hai so that's why we have arranged it in this way So if we have to talk about circles so here we generally get questions related to finding length of a tangent radius of a circle circles inscribed inside a quadrilateral or inside a triangle so these kind of questions are more common when it comes to areas related to circles i think finding area of shaded region that's the most popular problem and you you must expect at least one such question in your question paper so you may be given a very complicated sort of figure and you'll have some portion shaded and you you will be asked to find the area of the shaded portion so area perimeter of shaded portion besides that for uh, in order to solve these questions correctly you must be thorough with how to find the area of a minor sector major sector or minor segment major segment of a circle so that's important now this lesson the questions in this lesson they need a bit of practice so not just by you, you just can't rely on memorizing the formula to find out area of a sector or area of a segment you also need to practice few problems so that you understand the approach of solving questions next is surface areas and volumes now this is a lesson which a lot of students find very complicated difficult uh i would not say it is very difficult but yes it is very logical so you need to be very clear with the concept you will also have to apply some thought process on how to solve a question so for this lesson again it is a very like it's a formula based lesson so formula revising the formula is very important and in this lesson you often get questions with combination of different shapes like sphere hemisphere cylinder cone so whether you start with cube cuboid uh, sphere hemisphere cylinder cone frustum of a cone you should be aware of finding how to find their total surface area curved surface area volume so you should be clear with all these formula finally constructions now construction uh, you generally do not get more than one question from this lesson uh, but still even if you get one question so that question is not going to be a one marker because you have to construct something so obviously that question would be maybe a three marker or so so here you should practice constructing tangent to a circle constructing similar triangles and things like that now if we have to talk about the priority so here i would say circles areas related to circles and surface areas and volumes these three lessons are more important lessons from where the chances of getting more than one question where you have high chances of getting more than one question from each of these lessons but on the other hand construction is a low priority lesson you never get more than one question from construction to aa gaye hain hum day 2 pe day 2 pe hum fir se char lessons cover karenge jiske andar hum cover karenge coordinate geometry probability triangles and statistics तो अगर इन चार लेसन्स को देखा जाए तो इसमें कोऑर्डिनेट ज्योमेट्री और प्रोबेबिलिटी ये थोड़े ज़्यादा इम्पॉर्टेंट हैं क्योंकि इनसे ज़्यादा क्वेश्चंस आने की पॉसिबिलिटी है 
तो ये दो ज़्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है हालांकि ट्राइंगल्स एक काफ़ी लेंदी लेसन है इसमें काफ़ी सारे एक्सरसाइजेज हैं काफ़ी सारे कॉन्सेप्ट हैं काफ़ी सारे क्वेश्चन हैं बट एग्जाम परस्पेक्टिव से देखा जाए तो बहुत ज़्यादा क्वेश्चन इसमें से नहीं आते हैं बट स्टिल दिस इज अ लेसन विच इज़ मोर कॉन्सेप्चुअल सो वी नेवर नो दैट यू मे गेट गुड नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम ट्राइंगल्स सो डू नॉट इग्नोर इट एंड ऑल्सो we are going to share with you few important topics from each of these lessons we which you should definitely focus on let's look at few important topics from the lessons on day 2 so we start our day with coordinate geometry which is an important lesson and in coordinate geometry these are some of the important topics like distance between two point formula sectional formula area of a triangle probability is another important lesson and you often get questions related to dice coin tossing a coin card etc now in probability i cannot tell you what exactly what type of questions you might get but one key trick that i would give with regards to probability is that you must be clear with the concepts because again in probability uh the question could be a dice ka question or it could be a coin tossing a coin wala question but what exactly is the question that all depends on understanding the question and then applying the correct concept therefore probability is a lesson of understanding understanding the concept so please be clear with the concepts then comes triangles it 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 seems to be quite a lengthy lesson with too many exercises too many questions to solve uh but to be honest you do not get too many questions from triangles in your exam uh you often get questions related to similarity of triangles that an, that's an important topic in fact pythagoras theorem is another important topic besides that finding angles or sides related to triangle or sometimes questions where you need to make use of the theorems the important theorems on triangles again here also i would like to mention that we have created a video on five most important uh, questions from triangles so please watch all those five most important questions because we have created those videos for every chapter almost every important chapter so please take a look at those videos i am telling you they are going to be very useful finally we have statistics also on day 2 so see if you look at the time table that we have created we have tried to cover it in this way that on every day we covered three more important topics and one low priority chapter so that you know that low priority chapter anyways like one day you know when we are already studying so many things by the end of the day we tend to get tired so it is good that when you are already tired that time you do not study a chapter which is very important from exam perspective from where you will get a lot of questions therefore we are keeping one low priority lesson every day so that you know i mean the chances of getting many questions from that lesson is anyways less right so in statistics again uh, you should be uh, very clear you should revise the formula properly because you have to make use of the formula to solve the questions here median of group data and cumulative frequency these are some areas from where we have noticed more questions coming up in previous exams so if we have to talk about the priority coordinate geometry and probability these are high priority lessons from where you get more than one question from each lesson so put together you may get 3 to 4 questions from these two lessons triangles is a moderately important lesson sometimes you get two questions sometimes you may even get just one question statistics is a low priority lesson you do you generally do not get more than one question from statistics so in we are on day 3 अब तो काफ़ी घबराहट हो रही है डर भी लग रहा है क्योंकि अब तो भाई एग्जाम बहुत पास आ गया है बट देखा जाए तो हमने काफ़ी कुछ कवर भी कर लिया है वी हैव कवर्ड ऑलमोस्ट मोर देन 50% परसेंट ऑफ द सिलेबस सो दैट्स द गुड न्यूज and on day 3 today we will cover the entire algebra so we are going to cover five lessons today and we will start our day with quadratic equations followed by arithmetic progressions because these two are very important lessons in algebra besides that we will also cover real numbers polynomials and pair of linear equations in two variables day 3 is all about algebra 
and we are going to cover all these five lessons quadratic equation arithmetic progression real numbers polynomials and pair of linear equations in two variables do you think this is too much to cover in a day not really because if you look at the lessons on algebra uh, they are all based on just one or two concepts and then you have many questions based on those concepts so while you revise they will not consume a lot of your time now here in quadratic equations there are just two types of questions that you get one is solving a quadratic equation either by factorization or by completing the square the other one is the questions related to the concept of discriminant the value of d so when do you get real uh, equal roots when do you get real roots etc etc and from quadratic equation there is a high chance of getting a question which is related to this concept of discriminant then comes arithmetic progression where you just have two uh, concepts one is nth term of ap and sum of first n terms of ap now based on these two concepts only you have many variety of questions so just be thorough with them then comes real numbers here questions related to hcf irrational number product of lcm and hcf are few important areas polynomials finding zeros of polynomial or finding values of variables pair of linear equations in two variables now you should be aware of the different methods by which we solve these kind of equations and also sometimes you get boat or train related problems based on this concept now out of these five lessons quadratic equations and arithmetic progression they are high priority lessons so if you so when we analyzed the all the previous years question papers we found that we, you get close to 3 to 4 questions from these two lessons taken together rest of the three lessons are not very important so you may get a one question may may get a question or two from them not more than that and finally we are on day 4 and guess what we have actually covered the entire syllabus of class 10 maths and even after that we are left with one complete day wow that's great right now you must be thinking so what do we do today we are going to do the most important thing today and that is revision yes because over the last 3 days we have completed almost 15 chapters so many formulas so many concepts so many questions so it is very important that we thoroughly revise whatever we have learned so far now you may ask what exactly should we revise now here are few pointers first revise all important formula not only important revise all formula because in maths if you miss out on a formula if you forget a formula it will become very difficult for you to handle a question in the examination hall second practice more difficult questions now हम सब के लिए कुछ कुछ चीज़ें डिफ़िकल्ट ज़्यादा होती हैं राइट सो वेर एवर यू फील लाइक वाइल यू आर स्टडिंग फॉर द लास्ट थ्री डेज वेर एवर यू फेल्ट दैट यू नो दिस क्वेश्चन नीड्स एन अदर राउंड ऑफ रिविजन या फिर दिस टॉपिक नीड्स एन अदर राउंड ऑफ रिविजन मार्क दैम उनको मार्क कर लो सो दैट नाउ यू कैन रिवाइज दोज डिफ़िकल्ट क्वेश्चन और दोज डिफ़िकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट तीसरी चीज नाउ इफ यू स्टिल हैव सम मोर टाइम बिकॉज यू हैव द एंटायर डे राइट सो नाउ इफ इफ यू स्टिल हैव सम मोर टाइम वॉट यू कैन डू इज यू कैन क्विकली स्कैन थ्रू सम ऑफ द सैम्पल पेपर्स और प्रीवियस ईयर्स क्वेश्चन पेपर्स नाउ हैविंग सेट दैट आई एम नॉट आस्किंग यू टू सिट एंड सॉल्व द एंटायर सैम्पल पेपर फॉर थ्री आवर्स बिकॉज यू रियली डो नॉट हैव दैट मच टाइम राइट सो वॉट आई वॉन्ट इज जस्ट स्कैन थ्रू द सैम्पल पेपर सैम्पल पेपर को देखते रहो और देखो कि ओके दिस इज द क्वेश्चन डू आई नो द सोल्यूशन ओके या दिस इज हाउ इट विल बी जहां भी आपको लगे कि यार ये क्वेश्चन का सोल्यूशन कैसा होगा समझ नहीं आ रहा है गो एंड टेक अ लुक एट द सोल्यूशन राइट सो दैट वे इज यू कैन एक्चुअली स्कैन थ्रू द सैम्पल पेपर विच विच इन टर्न विल एक्चुअली हेल्प यू टू रिवाइज वॉट एवर यू हैव लर्न इन द लास्ट थ्री एंड अ हाफ डेज so these are few important things that you'll have to do in fact from our end we are going to provide you as much support as you can for example very soon we are going to upload another video where we will help you to revise all the important formula for class 10 maths for all chapters in one single video not only that 
Many of you would have already seen that we had released many videos on five most important questions for every chapter and trust me they are very very important. So even if you have missed out on them, so I am sharing the links of all the important videos of class 10 maths which are very important from your upcoming board exam. So take a look at them because they are really going to help you for in the next 3-4 days. Trust me, they are going to help you. I hope you found this video useful. I totally believe that the strategy that we have shared with you is definitely going to help you. And I'm reiterating this once again that those who have more than four days of time for your math preparation, use the extra number of days to solve some sample papers, to solve some questions from previous years question papers for better practice and better understanding. So I wish you guys all the very best and trust me you will rock your maths board exam.